and welcome everybody in Twitch chat and also on YouTube. For our next deck, we have Quasi Dupla Ooze. So we played this deck one time uh, so far, and it was like basically at the beginning of the RNA uh, standard season, and it looked a little different than this, uh, changing up some cards here this time around and i had a whole lot of fun with the deck but then we just kind of started playing a lot of other things and i kind of never really came back to this so um uh so i think it's time to to kind of go back to it so the main goal of the deck so like this deck isn't isn't perfect like this isn't the best deck of the format or anything like that the but it's it's fun what what our goal is here is to have biogenic ooze and quasi duplicate and then copy Biogenic ooze and just make more and more oozes and get more and more ooze tokens. Um, that's our that's our goal. So that's what we're going to be trying to do. Uh, whether we win or lose, who knows? But we're going to be trying to do that. Um, <laughs> no, there is no helm of the host um, and no replicate either. We were just talking about this card. Um, how I think it's kind of too many clone effects to have the replicates in also. Um, but this card, if you face a lot of crises, the repudiate part of this, of like countering the, uh, the triggered ability from Hydroid Crisis, you, you can make them stop gaining life and drawing cards. So, yeah, win or lose. <laughs> uh, so there we go. Um, let's give it a try. Quasi Dupla Ooze. Hey, Duke. Thanks for getting that sub in with Twitch Prime for the third month. Thanks, Duke. All right, this song is Two Door, Two Door Cinema Club. Uh, what You Know is the name of the song. All right, Quasi Dupla Ooze. All right, it gets this to one. And with that being a resub, looks like we're still 88 away. Ugh. <laughs> Poor Leno. That's what we're going to be saying whenever we got all these oozes out. That's what we're going to be saying to our opponent. Poor Leno. Alright. That's better. Get this branch walker right away. Of course, with the Wild Growth Walker, um, I want to uh, go ahead and play that before Branch Walker. So they are Breeding Pool Forest, Memorial to Genius. So it looks like this this is like just the Simic, um, Simic Nexus deck. Which, by the way is not so good for our deck of just attacking them like if they just have a bunch of fogs not so good for us the card uh holy marsh i don't i don't understand your question do you play the card variant still I don't I don't know what that means. Hmm. So I'm gonna draw that fifth land for Biogenic Ooze. But I guess I'm just gonna craze this for two. I mean I could duplicate the branch walker. Oh, do you play paper magic? Okay, I got you. Okay. Um I don't really Really, right now? No. 
Oh, right, I don't even have the, the second blue for duplicate, so that's not even an option. I was thinking that there was like a different game called, like a, you know, a different game called Variant or something. But no, I'm basically just, just a, a full-time streamer, so I don't play Paper Magic. Expecting some, some fogs. Hmm. Or not. Should I play Incubation Druid? Yeah, let's play in Incubation Druid. I'm not... I'm not thinking that... Uh, so their crisis is gonna matter too too much. We have lethal right now with uh, these creatures out. <laughs> All right, so that's only or no, yeah. So yeah, they will have enough to to nexus here. Yeah, that's right. But they only have three cards left. Hey, what's up, Sly? Happy Monday. Crisis. All right, we do not have lethal anymore. So much for that. Hmm. All right, who's time? It's the point of our deck. Casting some oozes. Neznaz with that Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the stream, Neznaz. Enjoy the emotes. Aw, oh, Frilled Mystic. It's getting a little laggy. There we go. I'm just trying to type some hype notes in the channel. There we go. This is two, and this is 87. So hopefully no nexuses. If you quasi crisis, you just get a zero zero. So it's not not too good for you because crisis is a zero zero. Well, that's good news for us if they're um, just wanting to bounce their crisis. That's probably pretty good news for us. Hmm. 
See, they've used two root snares so far. Hopefully not another counter spell. All right, not another counter spell. That's good. I didn't live through hell. Gotta get rid of this as Kanta. Well, dang. Yes, search only flips on the upkeep check. Yep. Pretty sure we're dead. I think we're just kind of too slow here. We'll have counter magic in after sideboarding, which will be good. And what kind of disenchant disenchants do we have? We have three Rex Ages. We'll have two more Frilled Mystics, another Vivian, a bunch of Negates. They get to flip Ascanta. The game's over. Disdainful Stroke. Negate. Rex Age. Vivian. Frilled Mystic. Unfortunately, this is not a quasi duplicate matchup. Which is really sad. Well, I guess quasi duplicating on the, the Rex Age is kind of cool. I guess that's pretty cool. Don't really need Wild Growth Walker. Um. I don't think we need dive down. Or Hadana's climb. I'm gonna trim a couple quasi duplicates though. It's it's basically just Rex Age that we'll want to copy. You think Carnage Tyrant is good? Hmm. Good entrancing melody there, Krasis. They just, they just use fogs on Carnage Tyrant. I don't think they, they don't need like, they don't really play removal that's like, like one for one removal or anything. You know, they just go over the top and take all the turns and everything like that. Find some lands from Jade Light here. Get to this Vivian. That's unfortunate. Those are not lands. That's not a land either. A lot of cards in a row that aren't land. It's a lot of cards in a row. 
Get our land. Alright, we got a two turn clock. Play wilderness. Yeah. Alright. Turns out having interaction is good, Hawkeye. Counter magic, good. That one worked. Easy. No Carnage Tyrant needed. Yeah, we won with only two lands. Doesn't happen all the time. Turn two Jade Light, still keep. So we want to draw counter magic. Um, do you like getting to these early Vivians? Vivian seems like a pretty good card in this matchup. Okay, that sounds good, Matthew. So explore, explore just basically means mill. <laughs> That's all we're doing with our explore stuff is just milling ourselves. That's every explorer we've had this match. Or at least, not not the match. The last two games have just been milling ourselves. No fourth land. It's pretty bold. Um. Hmm. We could just crace us for four. Or I can I can just pay the five mana and adapt to this incubation druid and hit them for seven. Or I could do that and play Branchwalker. What? Stop batting at me. Um Let's go Krasis for four so we can try to find counter magic. Because we're, we're ahead here on the battlefield. That's counter magic right there. That'll do. So we want to draw land here. Because if we draw land, we can... Uh, Pay five to pump Incubation Druid. Attack them for lethal land, have ne negate back up. But we didn't, didn't draw the land. So we're just attacking with these things. So they're down to one. And it's a lot easier when you have negates. And that's why Nexus is a lot better in best of one than in best of three. All right, one to know. Quasi duple ooze, starting off with a win. <laughs> Best play was having the pen to distract Hawkeye, otherwise it would have been a grim scene, right? 
He just he just wanted to play. Just wanted to bite stuff. So I can have turn one Lanoir Elf, turn two I could copy the Lanoir Elf. And then turn three I have five mana. So it's not really a crisis for four yet. We'll see. If we draw an ooze, we may want turn three ooze. So I'm going to go ahead and shock in here for the Lanoir Elf so I can see if I need to copy this. And we do not need to copy the... Do not need to copy the, um, the Lanoir Elf. So let's get to Jade Lighten. Phone are gonna have a whole lot of mana. Ugh. I can keep that. Next turn, I can Wild Growth Walker and copy Jade Light Ranger. Do you win more gold in the long run playing their traditional constructed event, or is it worth it to spend the gold on for the cards you get? Will you... Hmm... So leading up in instant speed removal here. Oh. Okay, so this is this is good. I'm fine with this. Cause like if they if they leave up instant speed removal, then I can't really quasi duplicate. But you know, here they you know they get to block the jade light and kill the jade light, but now we know we get to resolve this wild growth walker and quasi duplicate, so that is good good for me. Um, so you you do win a good amount of gold in the in the constructed event. Um, Biogenicus is the card I want. Um, but so then or is it worth it to spend the gold for the cards you get? I'm not I'm not sure what that that part of the question is referring to. So like finality? Yeah, seven and nine were better Final Fantasies than eight, but it's eight's birthday today. Sacrifice another Jade Light here to deal some damage. Certainly think they have Contempt for how they shocked in that Overgrown Tomb. They should have Contempt. So they're likely going to Contempt this Biogenic Ooze. But I guess they don't need to... Oh, they're not Contempting the Ooze. All right. I mean, that's, that's got to mean finality, right?
I mean, I sure hope it's not finality, but that's what I would assume. Oh, they're just gonna hostage take her it. Never mind, that's a lot worse for me. Man, Incubation Druid has just given them so much mana. And it's been a, been a 3-5. This Incubation Druid card is pretty awesome. If you don't go Infinity, Goldwise, and Constructed event, so you pay more gold as you get back, is it worth spending the gold for the event to get the cards? Yeah, I mean it's all it's all about what you enjoy doing. If you, if you want to play if you want to play standard, it's it's the the thing to do. Why don't they just play the biogenic ooze there? Do they just have instant speed removal still? Yep. So we need so I was going with the quasi duplicate on that because we need to we need to draw Hadana's climb to win. And especially how our opponent just said good game, I really hope we draw Hadana's climb. Cause Hadana's Hadana's climb can certainly kill our opponent. So, hope we draw it. Oh, yeah, I, I can't quasi duplicate the hostage taker. That that'd be awesome. That'd be a very good card. If you could if you could duplicate your opponent's creatures, that would be really nice. Did not find Adonis Climb there. It's a card in our graveyard, Rawls. Like these are these are cards in our graveyard. All of these cards are in our graveyard are dead cards. All right, we need climb this turn. Yeah, it's it's got to be this turn. Is it still too late? It may be too late. No, I th I think if, I think we can maybe get it if we draw it this turn. No. All right, Melody. I think I want Krasis. I want Melody and Vivian. Certainly want v Melody. Yeah, I want Melody and Vivian.
I'm not not playing a uh, crisis our opponent having like hostage takers and stuff. Yeah, we're not really trying to sit on a whole lot of mana. Harpooner is fine against Thief, but so is Vivian, and so is Melody. We just brought in like good cards against Thief already. There we go, I like this hand. We saw how strong our opponent's Incubation Druid was last game. Now we get one. One mana away from melodying the Don't quite have enough mana to melody the thief. So opened a pack of RNA and paper. You got a Seraph of the Scales, a Mortify, and a Wilderness Reclamation. That's a really good pack. That is nice. All right, so they, so no branch walker or wild growth walker. They took something else. Dang. Thought erasure, unfortunately, takes our melody. See if you're worthy. Sometimes restoration means retribution. I don't mind that the druid getting moment craving right about there. Okay. More Vivians. The wild wasn't meant to be contained. One mana off from Ooze plus Quasi Duplicate for the next turn. I don't know why I had that. That was a cool animation. I don't know why I had that animation. <laughs> Get that out of here. I'll save the breeding pool to be able to discard to quasi duplicate to copy the ooze next turn. Yeah, it was a, a hydroid read. The wilds are my shield. And hostage taker is such a beating for my no removal deck. I should have just activated Incubation Druid. I could have just spent five mana activating Incubation Druid, adapt it, and then tap that in the Land of War Elf and play the two Wild Growth Walkers. That's what I should have done. No one knows the wilds like I do. Break up the band. I 
Big wow growth walkers. Do I want to make another jade light? Yeah, I think so. So they can, of course, um, hostage taker a walker. No, you can't cause a duplicate the opponent's creature. I can't copy their hostage taker. We have another entrancing melody that I'd like to find somewhere. Maybe we need more entrancing melodies in the sideboard. That seems pretty good. We can take their hostage shaker that's taking my stuff. Taking out Vivian, of course, before we explore. Nature. Attack time. We have a 911 Wild Growth Walker. So they they have to they have to have like finality here, right? It's gotta be their card. But even in that case, even if they finality, we still have a very large wild growth walker and Vivian in play. It's not finality. So many hostage shakers. Disdainful stroke to counter hostage shaker. I just go with that and frilled mystic. Unfortunately, quasi duplicate. Here we've seen them have like the instant speed removal. Um, and make the quasi duplicate not really playable at times. Yeah, the, the Hostigers are awesome against Hydroid Krasis, so that's like probably what our opponents like doing there is trying to get the Hydroid Krasises, but I, so I took them out. Ooh, Tyrant? Yeah, I guess Tyrant's really not a bad idea. Maybe I should actually, honestly, for everything that we've seen from our opponent, Tyrant would be a good card. More green mana. That's a really unfortunate time to be finding Vivian Reed. Ooh, no cast down.
I like just trading creatures. Um, I think that's perfectly fine. I know I know they have like find finality. They can get theirs back. It's annoying. All these islands doing. Can't discard a Biogenic Ooze. I don't want them to get that back. Oh, I guess they're gonna get Vivian. Oh, I can't be Vivian. Yeah, Elderborn getting Vivian is horrible for us. Like this, this game, Elderborn's awesome in this game. Usually I wouldn't expect that card to be very good in the matchup though. When we have like so many cheap creatures, we have Biogenic Ooze that makes copies, we have yeah, you know, our opponent saw a lot of Vivians from us. The Vivian can, just gets to destroy Elderborn after it comes into play. I'm honestly pretty surprised that they have Elderborn in their deck here for the game 3, but it's of course it's working out for them. It's it's going to be awesome here. Surprised by that. I'm surprised no Vivian. Huh. So they have more removal here. They um, like Biogenic Ooze is, is certainly really good, and like they're most likely gonna win. But I don't, I don't know, I don't know how Biogenic Ooze is better than Vivian. I guess that's what I'm saying. They had like a 3-5 to be able to block already for Vivian. Yeah, we're going to have to draw like another ooze or something. Game looks really bad for us. Um, I mean, like, a news followed up with a Hadana's Climb. Because Hadana's Climb can fly over these, these tokens. Every fight makes me strong. Meet my newest friend. Four lands. Four lands isn't good.
attacking with Biogenic Ooze. We actually kill this thing? Yeah, we have enough to blocking like one instant speed removal spell doesn't save the ooze. I'll be back. Just like before. Um... Should've just done that during my turn. Should've just done that during my turn, that was a mistake by me. All right, one and one. That Eldritch Reborn just really wrecked us with how uh, kind of far behind we were. All right, we can do this. No, Simic isn't very good at coming back from behind. You know, basically just have the one Hadana's climb that can kill our opponent out of nowhere that I really needed. Or, um, or more oozes. Down, down. Wow, Growth Walker plus Explore Creatures, maybe. <laughs> um, just take that. I don't think that we played a very long match there. I've only been streaming for two hours. And, you know, considering, like, all the, the games we played with Jund and then quasi duplo it's like, we've, we've played, uh, so I guess that's five matches in two hours. It's certainly reasonable. So two matches in 45 minutes. It's not a not the worst time frame. Hey Morphs, doing good. Doing good. All right, so I guess we're just gonna be making them pay for life. Which, you know, they can only do a finite number of times. No land for the opponent is great news for us. Let's go ahead and use Vivian to continue to get more chump blockers for us. I've lost Especially so much Wild Growth Walker. I won't lose more. Wild Growth Walker would be ideal. That's the ideal Come fit. To me. Druid. If 
Could you try to build a Sultai control deck for the current metagame? What do you want the Sultai control deck to kind of look like? Like, what are some key cards you want in there? So, I'd assume Krasis with it being Sultai and control, meaning, you know, later on in the game. Alright, so Maverin Fane. This thing makes some really big I've seen vampires. things that would break someone like you. Where's Wildgrowth Walker? Where are you at? Uh, I'm just gonna keep that on top. Oh, I should have played the forest first so I could keep dive down available. I'm just gonna chump with the incubation druid. I guess I can chump with hydroid crisis. One, two, two, three. Yeah, actually, I need to chump with hydroid crisis to have. So one or more, so they make a 3-3 a three, three thing. Hmm. Do I want to try to ultimate Vivian? I'm gonna make that block. Do I want to try to ultimate Vivian or do I want to Vivian just to take five? Let's have Vivian take five. Um Okay, so you've got claws. I'm gonna hopefully find Wild Growth Walker in these next four. We haven't seen one yet. We've ticked up three times. Meet my newest friend. Ugh. Just Krasis for six. Go Krasis for five. Still have Druid available to block. news. So we've seen half our deck now. Because we know we've seen the bottom nine cards because of Vivian. Hey, what's up, Dirk? Thought Erasure, Krasis, Chupacabra, Six Mana Vivian, Contempt, Soot, Cry, Sabotage, Wilderness Reclamation. Well, Wilderness Reclamation and doesn't really fit in there besides Insight. And not loving Sinister Sabotage. But yeah, that could certainly... Could certainly do some stuff there. Oh yeah, six CMC Vraska, sorry. So our opponent's at five, but they're gaining three life to go to eight. Uh, so they're not just dead to the crisis, because the life link. If we had Hedonis climb, that'd be a different story. 
No one knows the wilds like I do. There's Hedonis Climb. Alright, finally found this card. Alright, time to gain a bunch of life. And get a large, large wild growth walker. Glaive, that's enough. Hmm. It's probably better than a random card. If I attack with Krasis... Yeah, we're at 26. We're fine. Yeah, that's a fine attack. Uh-oh. Twilight Prophet's a big creature. I mean, I guess I have new Vivian that, get to, that gets to kill Twilight Prophet, though. Yeah, I can. Next turn, I could go Branch Walker, duplicate the Jade Light, and gain even more. That's very true. Alright, so they're at 11. Let's kill this. Feel the wrath of Scala. Let's. Play Biogenic Ooze and copy Biogenic Ooze because that is what we came here to do. So that's what I came here to do. Quasi Dupla Oozin. All right. We got to make some oozes. Looking pretty good for us now. Hey, we we played we played a Biogenic Ooze and we quasi duplicated it, and then the opponent conceded. Is that uh, is that a coincidence? Probably not. Don't think that was a coincidence. So let's go ahead and melody their uh, vampires. Something we're probably going to want to do. Uh, dive down didn't really seem necessary. Yeah, no, no hostage taker. So if we just replace those, I think that that's probably fine. I don't think we really need to do too much else. All right. Let's keep that. Don't know what our hand's gonna look like, so feel like we're gonna have to explore through the library. Let's see what else we can get. Maybe we'll go on an exploration. That's a good card. Let's go on exploration for good cards. First up, a good card. We'll keep it. What's going to be next? Will be a good card? Nope. Next. Land. We'll take it. Be pretty conservative here. If I attack with Branch Walker and then they use removal on Jade Light, they get to attack with Maverin Fane and make a vampire. 
Don't necessarily want that to happen. Uh oh. That card's cool. Wow, Growth Walker. Speaking of cool cards. So, Entrancing Melody would cost six mana. Sorry, Ooze, you're not a land. Cost six mana to take this Alenda, which is what I want to do. So, we need to just find lands here. Gotta explore for some lands. Yeah, uh, Repudiate would be good against the Hostage Taker triggered ability. That's certainly a good point. Ooh, that's a land. Let's look for another one. Yeah, sorry, Vivian. You're not a land. Oh, uh, Jade Light. You're not a land yet, either. land. Yeah, Krasis is the <clears throat> the card that we're saying that repudiates really good against. Um, Planeswalker is not as much. Like you really want to hit like the Planeswalker ultimate. If you're just do getting like one plus or one minus ability with a repudiate, that's not so valuable. Kind of regret not playing Vivi in the previous turn. And taken up, so then we would have grabbed a Jade Light. To me. There's all of our lands. So I think I want creatures to die. Because I want Alenda to grow. And also, we are at like a bunch of life. There are not very much life. Alright, so Alenda grows. That's good. I'll sack one Branch Walker to deal six damage to them, and I think that's a, a fair trade. So it's whenever you gain life, each opponent loses one life. So if they just gain three life here. My computer is just like not working very well. I've seen things I don't know what's that going wrong with what's wrong like with that. Give me that. Thank you. Maybe a Windows update? Hmm. Doesn't seem like there's any Windows update around. All right, got the win. Two and one. Quasi Dublues doing its thing. That last game was certainly just lots and lots of explorer creatures being really good. 
but if we don't have the entrancing melody for the uh, um, Alenda, that game can get can get a little more difficult there. I wonder if we should be playing a lot more Entrancing Melodies. That card's been pretty impressive. That's Mass Manipulation is the card that you can gain control of X target creatures. So it looks like another soul tie match. No, a teamer match. So we'll just kind of trade explore creatures. I mean, I assume the opponent's trading. No, this one's not a donation deck. You can see up here if it has the letters DD next to it, then it's a donation deck. Uh, I don't have the fifth land. Oh well, I'm keeping it. We're just gonna crisis for two next turn. Eyes everywhere. That's not. Yeah, no, I don't want to play that card. I could just quasi duplicate the Jade Light. Actually, let's just do that. Just copy this Jade Light. I want to wait on Krasis. I want to have a bigger Krasis. Yeah, they could be playing a uh, a pod deck, for sure. Balance comes. Alright, Vivian's gonna die in two turns. At least. I mean, they could have a dragon, I guess, that kills Vivian right away. Now we're getting started. Yuck. You can't stop nature. Ooh, quasi dupla ooze. That's what we came here to do. Ooze it up. I'm gonna keep this dive down for the ooze. So I don't get to play the druid. I was just planning on, like, you know, maybe having Vivian grab a land and just play a big crisis with the dive down, but, you know, that's not what we came here to do. Ha! I've seen worse. They only have one more red mana. So I'll let that happen. I guess they could get me here by playing a red source. In response. Alright, so let's quasi duplicate. Discard incubation druid. Well, wait. Because I only have. I don't have enough blue mana to double quasi duplicate, so let's just do let's just do this. And I'll display the druid. The druid's pretty great. Um Alright. 
Too many uses. Yet again, another match. We quasi duplicate a news, and our opponent immediately concedes. Coincidence? Probably not. Dupla ooze scoop. <laughs> Okay, if you're if the stack covers the cards you want to target, there there is a little arrow in the like it's basically the arrow is like underneath my camera. It's it'd be like up there, like you wouldn't be able to see it. But there's an arrow you can click and it moves the stack to the side so you can target the things uh, behind the stack. So there you go. That should. That should be able to help out. Um, I don't know if I need to change anything here. I kind of want Melody again. Ugh. But I like Dive Down. Don't, re don't really know what I would take out for Melody if it's not Dive Down. Because I kind of want all these other cards. Um... Yeah, our opponent's got to be playing Crisis deck also. Yeah, let's go ahead and Melody. And... Yeah, that is good art. I guess maybe I don't need Climb. Hmm, Climb's pretty sweet, though. One Climb, one, one Crisis. Think you'll have you'll have time to build the Soul Tide control deck before Friday? Yeah, I certainly can. Yeah, Demonic Fire Lord. If you want to add that for a donation deck, I can I can certainly build that any day. Sounds pretty good. Alright, you made this deck last night. It's hilariously fun and you just cycle through. Um, your deck until your opponent decks themselves with scoops. Yeah, I can do that basically any day, any day you want. Um, I'll keep dive down available. Four color revitalize gates. It's been Where's our lands at? That's not a land. Huh. Yeah, that one looks pretty sweet. Alright. Copy this. Where are our lands? That's not a land either. This one's not looking good for us. Not looking good. Well, at least they're not playing Rekindling Phoenix here. I'm certainly scared of, like, Rekindling Phoenix and pod that into Biogenic Ooze. But just... Getting rid of a 1, that's not so bad. Vladimus! Five months with that tier 1 sub. Thanks for all the great streams. Thank you, Vladimus. Thanks for that resub there. We will... There we go. Say we'll find land eventually. So I can dive down and protect my branch walker. Meh. Send you your super duper smothering tithe emergency powers deck. Heck yeah, green hat mana. That's a, that sounds like a kind of deck I'm willing to play. All right, so that is sub number three on the day. Looks like we are down to 88 
sub points away. They're keeping Disdainful Stroke. Interesting. Oh, if we just had one more mana. Can't block that too on opponent. Puts you down to zero life. I can't block that one. Alright, three and one. Explore creatures doing their thing. You had a child come to your door selling chocolate. Almonds. Nice. Hope you bought a bunch. Dark Heart Down says, Todd, just want to say I love your stream. The energy and community you have here are amazing. Love the music as well. Great taste. Keep having fun. Dark Heart Down, thank you for the kind words. That's very nice of you. <laughs> Is that negative one for the punk counter? <laughs> no. Okay, thanks, Green Hat Man. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Let's get some love emotes. There you go, for Dark Hot. For Dark Hat. Dark Hawk. Hawk. Not hat. Um, don't think we can keep this. Mulligan. Ooh, much better. Yeah, we'll try another JR. It's risky keeping the JR on top because we don't have the third land for, for it yet. Just one chocolate almond? You only got one, one almond, like one like little tiny almond. Ba -ba. This is the sound of settling. Hey, pacemaker. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I remember getting Final Fantasy VII when it came out when I was a kid too. Okay, one box. Okay. Well, you said just one almond, and so that's what I was thinking. Where are the lands at? Like I said, it was risky keeping the jade, the jade light on top. But opponent didn't hit the land drop either. Wow, they just had Trickster? I think our opponent should have Trickstered the Wild Growth Walker in response to the Branch Walker. So the Wild Growth didn't gain three life and get a counter. Losing this race. Hmm. I guess I did play in a spell pierce with that. Sleep and Rivers Rebuke? They can't have Rivers Rebuke game one, and it's, I don't think they have Sleep game one either. Yeah, Mono Blue's a good deck. It's a, it's a good deck. When 
When I was in college, I bought a box of cookies from a local Girl Scout who was selling outside the grocery store. Mother opted to let the Girl Scout handle the change and such. I was offered two deals, zero dollars back or my, do or my entire twenty dollars back. <laughs> That's that's your change. You can have you can have this twenty dollars back or nothing. Back. Hmm. One has three instants over there, so they don't get to activate Terramander. I think if I play a spell, our opponent certainly counters it, right? So instead, I could just not play a spell and activate Incubation Druid. So the opponent has three. Three instances in the library. So I play this, they counter it. They did not counter it. Interesting. So... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the Jade Light. Playing Vivian is, is not so good against... Uh, playing Vivian not so good against... Um, dive Down or Negate. I mean, I guess, like, negate this can counter, like, negate can counter this, which is fine. Uh, Spell Pierce, I'll have the two mana. Alright, so they... So they can't activate this, right? One, two, three, four, five. No, they cannot activate that. So they just have to chump block, which is... Which is all I wanted, is I wanted them to have to chump block with the Terramander. So mission accomplished. I guess dive down's not jumping. Well, yeah, it is jumping. So double dive down? Okay. Yeah. Hmm. This is getting really laggy. We're gonna have to restart the client after this. This one. Hey, what's up, Tychorus? We'll see if this works. Wild animals I like. Do they have a People? third dive down? Not so much. Really? I guess so. Um Bzz. Is there flyers a five eight? I think I'm really attacking through a 5-8 this turn.
Um, if I attack with both creatures, they can eat Jade Light and then chump Wild Growth Walker. So do I want to do I want to trade Jade Light for Miss Cloak Herald? I kind of do. Yeah, I want I want to make that trade. It just makes it harder for them to to block all three of these creatures next turn. Doesn't doesn't let them keep the one one to be able to chump the wild growth walker the next turn also. The wilds are my shield. Down. down. Opponent, you can just trickster the Wild Growth Walker before the Explore trigger. Next time. Alright, well, we're playing the Ooze here now. Don't think attacking makes a lot of sense now. Certainly doesn't make sense to attack now. Well. Hmm. Control's losing basically everything. Yeah, if you're saying how you think control's too oppressive, it's it's losing basically everything a rotation. Like when Teferi and Search for Escanta rotate out, like that's those are the big things. Like control's gonna get a whole lot worse. But obviously there's a lot of sets uh, to go still before that. And a lot of time before that. They're confident enough to beginning. attack Vivian here. Hmm. Alright, so they're out of tricksters, right? That's all four tricksters. Yeah, all four tricksters. I guess that's a reason to only go for four instead of five with the Krasis. We could have had a mana for a Llanowar Elf, but yeah, I wanted it to be able to match up with the Terramander. Ancestral, ancestral recall. Draw three. All right, finally got there. Good job, Wild Growth Walker. And then Teferi never goes away. Yeah, that could certainly happen. All right, let's Melody Harpooner. This is probably a pretty bad matchup for us, but we got the first one. 
Uh, let's take out Dive Down. Hmm. Yeah, our, I think our opponent could have won that if they played Trickster better. If they if they just Trickstered my Wild Growth Walkers before the Explore stuff. Honestly, our, our opponent probably could have won that. Man, this is not a good Biogenic Ooze matchup, but I don't want to take it out. Because I like that card. But honestly, Ooze and Vivian. And Quasi-Duplicate. Probably should be playing too much of. I can do some Carnage Tyranting. I can do that. <laughs> well, I'm glad glad you're here, Big Print. Um, yeah. Yeah, we can quasi-duplicate the Tyrant. Make Lasso Tyrants. Ugh. What do you think, Hawkeye? Lasso Tyrants? Uh-oh. What? Stop. Yeah, you can have flying flying dinosaurs with Adonis Climb. Aw. I have the same main deck. I guess it didn't let me sideboard. Okay, so how to donate? Just click on the, uh, click on the the donate banner, the big the big banner that says donate. Click on that. That that sends you to the link. And just just in the donation, just put uh, link your deck list, and what what uh, or yeah, there you go. Thanks, Abigail. That's that's also the link to donate as well. And just um, tell me what day and first, second, third, or fourth. So any any day of the week, um, and first through fourth, when you donate for a deck, it's it's your choice. Hey, what's up, Big Pop? So they're keeping their counter magic up. Oh, they're down to three cards. Oh, the so opponent must have mulliganed a bunch, but unfortunately, my hand is really really bad, so I can't even beat one drop Curious Obsession at all. We're just drawing more lands. Hey, the old turn four Wild Growth Walker. Right on time. Hmm. Well, Vivian won't be able to kill the Terramander with a minus now. That means we're oozing. That's what we came here to do. Biogenic ooze and quasi-duplicate it. That's what we came. <laughs> Vivian and her land collection. Copy this. Copy this. Lame.
<laughs> I'm here to ooze and chew bubble gum, and I'm all out of bubble gum. Copy this. Copy this. All right, we copied some oozes. No, yeah, not not winning the race because of Terramander. But if this went one more turn, if we had one more turn. So why is quasi duplicate not used more often? It's tough to it's tough to use. You need um All right, let's actually sideboard this time hopefully. You need to be able to um Like it's really bad against instant speed removal, right? Like you need your like it's very weak to that because you're targeting your creature. If your opponent is using an instant speed removal spell on your creature. I'm not sure if I want the Carnage Tyrants. Maybe some more duplicates. Just want to copy these. No. Any frilled mystics? They had uh, Siren Storm Tamer in play that protected Terramander. So playing Vivian Reed and trying to minus to kill the Terramander wouldn't have worked because of the uh, Siren Storm Tamer. And even with the even with them sacrificing the Siren Storm Tamer, they still had lethal. Real Mystic's awful in this matchup. I guess I'm just playing news. Basically get I'll just take let's try this. No. There. Two and two. It's actually sideboard though this time. Let me actually click sideboard and hope hopefully it works this time. Last time we were disconnected, unfortunately. It's a good hand. I want to find some explore creatures, but having Wild Growth Walker on turn two on the play underneath counter magic is exactly what we want. Of course, if they play, if they play one drop flyer here, then we get to just harpooner and kill it. Uh, you play quasi dupla drakes. Hmm. Might as well just cast this quasi duplicate real quick. Have any explore creatures anyway? I think if I don't draw a land next turn, I'm just going to play the land of war off and hold up negate um, and try to get to having more mana. Never mind. Double Island is a little unfortunate that I don't get to land or elf there. I certainly like having the third blue mana source where I can quasi duplicate and have negate. So I, I like the third mana the third blue mana, but a blue and a green would have been ideal. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'll take that. And I like I like keeping on top where the Jade Light turns into a 4-3 to be able to uh, tussle with these Tempest Gins. What? What? So I knock stuff off the table? I like my little notepad. Why are you knocking my notepad out off the table? All right, see ya. Don't come back. Meow. Do you think Boros Angels can win five games in Constructed? Um, I mean, it certainly can, you know, but I would, I would prefer to be playing Mardu over Boros. I think Sarah for the skills is really important to have. But, yeah, I can. <laughs> Quasi Dupla Ranger doing all the work, basically. Oh, no! No! Opponent, why are you so rude? Hmm. We have the opponent down to five. So. Attack was still kind of aggressive. I, th I think they probably should have like left one Tempest Gen back to be able to block like the three two and the two one. They didn't really need to attack with both Tempest Gens there. If they just attacked with one Tempest Gen, they'd be in a lot better spot. They'd still be at like ten. Yeah, now I have one creature in the graveyard. So a Harpooner could kill a Jin. I could also just have Harpooner kill a 1-1 one -one here. With the Quasi Duplicate. Wow, so aggressive with these attacks. Do you think they have... Um, the Siren Siren Lookout, I think is the name of the the blue explorer creature. Alright, so if we kill one blocker, they have three blockers, they go block, 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 we can do four to them and they're at five. Dang, so close. Yeah, I'm just going to take out Trickster, I think. So I want to keep my Harpooner alive. I can't just attack out. Because we don't kill them. Maybe I can just attack out. No. If I attack out... 
So they... I'm attacking with that thing. If I attack out, they block that, and they block the 3-2 and 3-2. So I trade I trade three creatures for one Tempest Gin. I only get like three damage in. Yeah, no, let's just attack with this thing. No, we don't we don't die if they draw a land. The harpooners have reach, so I can block with the harpooners. So we're not just dead. I guess that can happen. That was not an outcome I was expecting. The swing out into... Uh, all concede. The, the all attack into concede. Um... Who's saying that cover? All right, so here we're gonna be going to our final boss playlist anyway, so I can I can just go see. Uh, that was Prismo. P R I S M O. All right, and speaking of final boss, Quasi Dupla Ooze is there. Four and one. Hey, hey, IPD. Good evening. Alright, what's our final boss going to be playing? Ow. I'm sitting in my lap. Here you go, good boy. All right, you're calling Esper Control? Looks like Sultai. Could be a mirror. Could be a quasi duple ooze mirror. Nope, it's Sultai. And our own Wild Growth Walker would, would be looking really nice right about now. Oh, yeah. Ooze? That's what I want. That's the card I want. Thief Sandy's a problem. That's a problem. So I, I just started playing Magic with Arena and always played best of one, but now I've started playing doing best of three and didn't realize what I was missing. Yeah, best of three is is so much better in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, we're celebrating Final Fantasy VIII's birthday with some Final Fantasy VII music. 
I don't have any any good Final Fantasy VIII music. I guess I can look for some though. Maybe there's a final boss with Final Fantasy VIII. It's probably going to be the orchestra version though. Diva Sandy's gonna just destroy us. Arturo, hey, good games. Hey, that's okay. Um, yeah, it's our luck, Eddie. It was, yeah, there was, it was a good match. The problem with uh, exploring here into Thief of Sanity, of course, is they get to take the card. Did they did they take a Biogenic Ooze from me last time? Did I leave a Biogenicus on top for my opponent to, to steal last time? I'm, I may have. No? Okay. Taking something over Dive Down. Dive Down would be kind of nice. Alright, they took my Land War Elf. Ah, they took a quasi duplicate. Give me a good card to draw here. Would you like to see what's left? Draw and fire. And I want to kill the token, not the the original one, because the original one can go to the graveyard and and they can buy it back with fine finality. Um, and I like. I like being able to have the dive down for Biogenic Ooze anyway, so I didn't really want to throw down Biogenic Ooze immediately. So this just kind of works out for us. No, How our deck doesn't have like removal, really. To you, pal. Meet my newest I can friend. still Biogenic Ooze can win this though. We're not we're not dead. Right now. Let's do this again. Who's can get there? We gotta have our opponent not finality, but I don't think they're one of finality with their Thief of Sanity. And we need more blue mana. So drawing that island was pretty good. Balance comes. No, dive down is target creature you control. I can't target my opponent's Thief of Sanity with dive down. Well, even, even if they Finality, we can dive down and save our Biogenic Ooze from fi Finality. So we're actually okay with Finality also. How are we going to... We just have to make sure Vivian doesn't ultimate. That's the scariest thing. And that's going to be kind of tough. That's going to be pretty tough, honestly. I'm 
targeting a creature I control. What's going on? What is going on? It keeps on happening to me. This is the second time now. Let's see if you're worthy. Ooh. Barely had enough time. I guess we had two timeouts still. So the bad news is we know like it these went away, but we know they have a hostage taker. Hostage taker gets to take one biogenic goose. But they're they have a lot less mana now, which is good. So like them double spelling is gonna be hard. So like even if, if they hostage taker take a biogenic goose, I can still untap Come and attack with three creatures to their two creatures. So they have to have they have to have hostage taker plus another creature here. Oh, I, I don't have the blue mana to double quasi duplicate ooze. Obviously, you know, that would have been a better play than playing Ranch Walker, but I don't have. The Simic Gilgate came into play tapped. Um, that was in my hand, so I couldn't. I didn't have four blue mana. So we're, we're still not likely to, to get out of this, but. They have to have a, a creature or removal spell. They have to have something that costs two or less in their hand, basically. So hopefully they don't. You know, they, they do this. Oh, right. They just take the branch walker. That costs two or less. All right, back to the normal playlist. Can I beat a Vivian Emblem? Can I beat Vivian Emblem? Oh, why'd I just play that land? I need to discard that land. That's not good. I was just sitting here thinking about what to do with the Vivian emblem and everything, and I just kind of just tapped the land. Um, huh. I think I can beat Vivian Emblem. Certainly would have been easier if I would have not played that land. And I could have made another ooze here. Like I would have just had another biogenic ooze. So they have a Thief of Sanity in their hand. That'll be a four power flyer. It's time. Now I don't have the crisis anymore. Oh, it's gonna have the crisis either way. So they have a four power flyer. That's good for me. That's really good that they didn't wait. 
Obviously, that's bad for me that they had the contempt, but it's really good for me they didn't wait. If they would have just waited and responded to the quasi-duplicate, that would have been a whole lot worse for me. All right, they did not play Thief of Sandy, so they didn't play a, fl a flyer. That's good. So I'm just going to have to chump with the 5-5 five five here. I don't... Oh, wait. These things have... Do these things have trample? They have trample? Trample's annoying. Um... I think I should take 9 instead of sacrificing 1 ooze. I think I would rather sacrifice 1 ooze than take 9. Because of Thief of Sanity. I mean, it's, it's still just chump. It's just taking 1 ooze instead of 9 damage. It's a good draw. Because that's just an easy card to discard. We oozing. Can ooze beat a Vi Vivian emblem? Good news, they're only hostage taking a token, because again, they exiled my real ooze. So that's that's good news for us. It's just a token. Bad news is they just keep on having this interaction, and it's just going to be really hard to beat a Thief of Sanity they, with them keep on having all this interaction. I need to draw a Krasis. Yeah, if they would have let me keep the, the real Biogenic Ooze instead of contempting the real one, they could have hostage taken the real one and had that to cast. Yeah, we just have to go go even wider. You know, like we're getting we're gonna be getting, I guess, two oozes a turn that are both huge. It's gonna be tough to win this. Well, that's that makes it impossible. Stupid flyers. Ski with that sub. Thank you, Ski. Alright, so they're all blocked. Second month in a row saying, love the stream. Thank you so much, Ski. I love that you are enjoying the stream here watching. Where's my love emotes? There we go. Yeah, our opponent just is clicking attack all. Making me block. I don't know what they went and got, but they... They didn't keep Vivian. I 
if it wasn't for the flyers or them having, you know, multiple removal spells for these other oozes. Don't think we're doing 34 here. Yeah, Zagana would have been ha a handy, for sure. Um, Adonis Climb could have been really good. In our deck, we could, you know, block their their flyers also with Adonis Climb. But yeah, Zagana would have gave all these trample. Dang. I'm down to eight. Alright, so last time we went Disdainful Stroke, Negate, Melody, Other Vivian. Kind of want Carnage Tyrant. Took out Krasis. Hmm. I think I took out Quasi Duplicate, even though it was really good that game. And then I didn't play Carnage Tyrant. Do I actually want Carnage Tyrant? <sighs> this is what I did last time against Sultai. If I play Carnage Tyrant, I'd probably have to take out Ooze. I think I play Carnage Tyrant. We're the worst quasi dupla ooze deck ever. I'm just taking it out. Taking our combo out. I'm gonna have Frilled Mystic here on the play. I'm gonna not play it on the draw. But on the play with us having these mana creatures, I'm gonna try it. Alright, if we just hit a lot of lands, there's a chance that this hand can win. I think it's a better chance than five card hand. We're just gonna have to hit a lot of lands. That's not a land. But if we can get to an early Vivian, I think we can win. But, you know, certainly a chance that this does nothing. Five cards is, is really tough. Not quite a land there. Not quite a land there. Yeah, it looks like we're going to fall to the final boss. But you never know. Contempt against my Vivian plan. Hmm. in there. Getting a little closer. Hey, Sin. Hmm. 
That's not what I wanted their branch walker to hit. That's not good. See any of these going? Alright, and they're keeping on top. So we really want to land here so I can play Druid and have Negate up. That would be the best. Alright, there we go. Druid plus Negate. Hopefully no Hostage Taker. So can't counter a hostage taker. No, this is a deck I put together. You see, donation decks have D have like the DD next to them for donation decks. Um, this is a deck that we made at the very beginning of the very beginning of streaming, or sorry, of RNA. The very beginning of RNA. I've seen things uh, when we that were streaming then. Someone like you. Um, I would have preferred just to be able to keep uh, Adapt available on the Incubation Druid and hold the gate up. But with them having the Hostage Taker, I just can't do that. So I guess I'm just going to play the Vivian. I'm not going to have Vivian plus Negate, considering if I if I just wait, they Hostage Taker take my Incubation Druid. Um, and I basically have no mana. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even have the mana to be able to play Vivian after that. So, we just couldn't, couldn't really afford to wait. So we're just going to die from the Jade Light Ranger. I think best case scenario right about now is we draw... Not that. I don't know what, but not that. We draw like Entrancing Melody to take the Thief of Sanity, but then they, they take it back with the, the Hostage Taker. Just turns out my deck is really bad against Hostage Taker. So we've learned against these Soul Tide decks. Didn't we wait, did we beat Soul Tide last time? Or is that our one loss? I don't remember. Alright, good. They cleared some lands. We know our bottom three cards are lands. I guess Vivian actually here, that's that's what I could draw is I could draw another Vivian. Vivian would actually be really good here. We can kill the thief with Vivian. They have cast down, but I'm not sure if they can tell which druid is getting adapted. Because the adapt bug. Like, I don't know, it's a bug, just doesn't show you. Alright, they picked correctly, but we're gonna engage.
We have four in here. How do, how do you, oh, because we, we scried a Vivian to the bottom. So that's a third Vivian there. Ugh. Yeah, we have we do have four. But yeah, that's that's really bad. That means we're only drawing towards one. Uh, Krasis is not in the deck. Because of Hostage Taker. Took something over Disdainful Stroke. Probably not. Probably not good for me. Okay. Why would you just tap the druid? We have four basics here. Just use the basics. Oh, I guess they when he's the blue there. I should have just added mana before that. I need the I need those druids to block the Jade Light Rangers, though. Because they're going to hostage take her this crisis. I need those three fives to block the... The Jade Light Rangers. I can still... I can still just jump with the land war elf. Just trade a land war elf for a jade light. We would have. I guess no. We could have just tapped the land war elf to cast that. So doesn't matter. They didn't attack with that. So all good. All right, this game's over. Hey, Spencer. All right, so our deck's pretty bad against Hostage Taker. It's not good when we don't hit a second land also. You know, we didn't, didn't even play a land on turn two. That's difficult to win as well. Thief of Sanity also good against us, so. Hey, four and two, pretty happy with that, honestly, with a quasi-duplicate. Um, you know, we went into this one knowing that our deck wasn't the best. And that's the thing. Uh, the flying has certainly gotten a bigger part of standard, and biogenic ooze and quasi duplicate. We're not really affecting the air, so yeah. So there we go. Still four and two was pretty good. Um, maybe we need to do something about hostage taker and thief of sanity being so good against us. But those are just those are just two cards in particular that really wrecked us over multiple games. Um. Yeah, yeah. With with a D the Demir quasi duplicate deck with uh, Play Crafter, Chupacabra, Hostage Taker. Yeah, maybe maybe I need to revisit that deck because Hostage Taker does seem to be in a great spot these days. So there we go. All right, quasi duplicate ooze. Now the oozes aren't aren't the best these days uh, against Sultai. You know, like we saw ooze be good against other decks, but against Sultai in particular. Ooze isn't really where you want to be, which is which is kind of the problem with this deck. But still, oozing, making lots of ooze was pretty fun, I'd have to say. All right, if you're watching this later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And...